is very simple and you have a key walk tahedron. That's it. So we see that we have inconsistencies in here with, mm, with synergetics trying to demonstrate what they claim. It's actually impossible. It might be possible with some fancy computer rendering or some uh, fancy drawings and, and definitely some lot of fancy language. You, you can maybe confuse people for other four decades, but since we have an empirical demonstrations in here, it cannot be done in synergetics. Well, near the claim is true. To have a dual that cube, the regular tetrahedron that consists of 24 A module would have to have 10 spheres, not 4 spheres as they claim. So the wide regular tetrahedron then would have to have 4 spheres, which I just, which I just demonstrated. This regular tetrahedron would have to have 4 spheres, and the larger regular tetrahedron would have to have 10 spheres. And then we could talk about what synergetics is claiming. But because the regular tetrahedron and 24 blocks is claimed to have only 4 spheres, the dual dead cube is impossible. The synergetics dual dead cube only can exist if composed of 576 blocks and not 72 blocks as claimed. My dual cube contains 14 sphere and 48 blocks. My cube octahedron contains 40. My cube octahedron composed of 40 blocks or 13 spheres. But again, the synergetic cube octahedron is impossible since the one regular tetrahedron does not exist. It is impossible for synergetics to have a cube octahedron with 60 blocks or 2.5 regular tetrahedral volume. I would also like to demonstrate that the dual cube and the cube octahedra are all one and the same in a la larger matrix. If we start this stack, this two cube, this two different cube in an R set, just like this, We see that it is all face-centered cubic lattice. Now I want to show something important in here also. I'm just going to make two small cubes. I want to show something. And obviously nobody has seen this before because I have never heard about it. Synergetics never wrote about it, so uh, it's very easy to assume that obviously it was not known. But what I want to show in here, that we have two cubes. These two cubes have a, have a inner uh, uh, regular tetrahedron in them. There it is. And these two cubes, if I stack them up like this, if I stack them up like this, where this is the uh, quarter octahedron that you see placed in here, I want to show you it's a quarter octahedron placed in a cube, and we see that this cube, if these two cubes I just want to show that these two cubes are not same as these two cubes. And now, if I just rotate this like that, 90 degrees, then we end up with this cube, these two cubes, where this 90 degree points in the center. So we can have it when this 90 degree is on the edge, or it's in the center. And that's what we have in here. And I realized that just like I said by accident, I had these two cubes and just by accident I put them like that and I was uh, just watching the TV and I put them down like that but then I kept staring at it and I realized that if we assume that we're building this matrix and this is all face-centered cubic lattice, I, I explained. 
I just see, we just see two cubes now because I choose to cut through this infinite large matrix. I just choose to cut them in here and I have two cubes like that. And apparently I show that these are two different cubes. This one is made of 13 spheres, this one is made of 14 spheres. But as you see when you stack them up like this, if I would have a other cube octahedron like that, which is a cube octahedron, this is it. If I would have a other cube octahedron, and I would stack it up like this, joined with the other cube and it would be like this then I realizing that if I use them if I use these two cubes and I keep on stacking uh, cube octahedrons I mean a dual tet cubes and a cube octahedrons and I keep stacking them up like that if I it, it, it becomes all one and the same because because there are these octahedrons, new octahedrons form as I'm stacking them up and so either way if I would just use dual that cubes and I'm stacking them in the infinite matrix I always could come up with this matrix and if I would just use this cube this uh, cube octahedron with, 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 with it corners place back in a cube fashion and I would stack in just these not that just in a larger matrix I then could derive this one in other words these two are one and the same in a larger matrix they are in they are different individually but if you stack them together either one you choose this one or just this one and you build in this whole matrix you end up with whichever you want because the cross sections of these cubes can create a lot of structures and, and I'm going to show them in a minute so if we start these two different cubes in an offset we see it is all face centered cubic lattice now I show the two five blocks cubes or six blocks if I use uh, solid kites but just for easy demonstrations I, I just using five blocks cubes these two cubes and we see that they are all same it just depends how, how are they rotated but it's one and the same thing if you flip it like this it's a cube after here and if you flip it like that it's a dual that cube it's the same old thing even though Synergetics emphasizes and it done it for decades that these are some unique structures to isotropic vector matrix, 60 degree coordinate system and, and blah 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 this and that but it's all one and the same it's called face centered cubic lattice why is it face centered? because here are spheres which this is where the octahedrons are pointing these are this octahedron uh, yeah octahedron would be placed in a cube and these would be would be placed inside the cube so these vertexes would point to the center of every face so has uh, this is just a half octahedron but a uh, full octahedron has uh, six six vertices and this six vertex cube has six faces as a matter of fact an octahedron and a cube are duals of one of one of the cells so these vertices would point to the uh, center of every face cube and it would be same in here <coughs> even though here at the single cube it is reversed the octahedrons are placed like that and they are pointing to the center of the cube but like I said in a lot, lot larger matrix as you can see in here this center cube if I would have this one more cube in here like that you see that it's already forming a dual that cube in here 